First of all, I would like to thank the mercy of God, great virtues of holy teachers and masters, kindness of transmitters, lectures, and all of you to give me this opportunity to share the topic of holy scriptures, the 10 exhortations of Huang Mu's home letters. So we're continuing from last class. Last class, the Qigong Living Buddha and Gehui Guan Yin Bodhisattva talk about our true nature. Our true nature is very pure, still, and also have everything. And our true natures know the past, know the past and the present, what will happen uh, at this moment. But the reason, because uh, we cannot have the same true nature as the Buddha's uh, true natures, because we have a uh, temper, bad habit, we have attachment and desires and three poisons like greedy, greed, anger, stubborn, stubbornness, or we call ignorance, which those uh, our true nature do not have originally. So that's the problem we cannot have the same true nature as the Buddha nature today. So we need to get rid of all those stuff, true nature that I have originally. And Holy Teacher also mentioned it. The most important things is one point. The deep, most different, our grand says always talk about the big difference between Tao and religion is one point, which is uh, the first treasuries. That's Holy Teacher borrowed transmitter's hand to open our gate. That's the most important things uh, to open our gate, uh, the first treasuries. Then we receive three treasuries. Uh, the reason we need to open the gate because when we leave, leave this world, our true nature had to come out from that one point location, the first treasury location had come. That's a door, that's a door, passing door for the, our true nature to come out from our body. We have a true nature inside our body, also have true nature outside of our body, okay? So it's, true nature is everywhere. So we have to know that, okay? So we are very fortunate and lucky to receive the Tao. Not everybody can receive that, okay? Unless they cultivate more than three lifetimes, otherwise they have no chance to receive. And then Holy Qigong Living Buddha and the Yehwe Guanyi Bodhisattva talk about that. We, are, we feel boundless merciful grace, the heavenly blessing spread all over the world, uh, protecting all those who has affinities with Buddhas. Okay, so we are very fortunate, okay, yeah, to receive Tao. But we need to remember constantly to appreciate what we have. Okay, and then very important point here is we should not take this Laomu's affinity meeting lightly. The reason because this is the only uh, Laomu's meeting reunion with Laomu in the last 30 years in our temple. So it's not that easy for Laomu to, to visit us like this. Okay, so we are very fortunate to happen to the Huayi Tongyi uh, temple. And we continue from last class. Okay. The original nature of the life is almost true, kind and beautiful. So our, this is our true nature, which is utmost means is uh, most extreme, true, real, pure, and beautiful, okay? So that's what happened there, the sentient beings. Sentient beings do fell into the mundane world, come to this world and under the control of desires. Uh, that's a point all the master, all the te teacher always talk about it. 
desire. What are the desire? We have six desires. Six desire is eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mindset. So those six desires control us. Our Buddha nature cannot be cannot in charge. So the, those six desires take, took over. That's why we create a lot of karmas and we suffer the consequence. So we are under the control of desires, six desires, because they are attached, also attached to corruption of the bad habit. Uh, sometimes we have a bad habit, a bad temper, uh, they create a karma for us. They cannot go be beyond, go above the feeling of material attachment. Because human being in this world, we are all pursued, a lot of time we are in general, we are pursuing fame, power, wealth, and other stuff. Because we like to have big houses. We like big car. We like to have power. Okay, we want to have a lot of money. That's why we pursue those material stuff. But we didn't know, we didn't know. Uh, as long as we have enough to survive, enough to get, make good living, that's enough. The reason, because one day if we, leave, leave, if we leave, leave this world, we, we cannot take with us. We cannot take with We only can take merits, virtues, and big karma with us. We only can take merit, big karma, and virtues with us. We cannot take all this material stuff with us at all. Even we own big houses, we cannot take with us. Okay. So we need to understand that. So Buddha always trying to remember, trying to remind us all the time, all the time. Don't over pursue the material stuff. Don't over pursue. We spend all the energy time to do it. But we didn't know we have the correct enough merits, virtues. We didn't know we have the correct enough merits and virtues to be ready if we were to go one day. Okay. We always think we can live for long, long life, but who knows? Okay. So we need to, to know that. Holy teacher to keep reminding us, okay? So the reason we have, we are controlled under the desire. We have a bad temper. We cannot go beyond the material stuff. Now what happened? This make us unable to see our perfect true self, true nature. And the true self means the pure heavenly nature. So we cannot see our true nature. So they do not have a, any way to express a happy life. Because we think we have a good material style, we have good, good life today. But from Buddha, from God's point of view, that's not really true happy life. Until the moment our true nature are in charge, until our true nature reveals, okay? So Buddha keep reminding us, keep reminding us all the time, that's what all the teacher want us to do that. Get rid of affinities, do not raise the thing or so. Uh, we need to practice this exercise every day, one hour a day, let our true nature reveal. Okay? And every day when we do things, use our true nature, use our Buddha nature in charge, and use our conscience in charge. Okay? Even sometimes, sometimes people might take advantage of us. That's fine, that's fine, let it go. So we have to prepare for that, okay? Yeah, so that's Holy Teacher, Living Buddha, and also Yehwe Kwani Bhusawa talk about. And then continue the Holy Living, Holy Qigong Living Buddha talk about. The Tao, the Tao cultivation, the Tao cultivations and publications and in carrying out charity. If we do all those stuff, cultivation, publication, carry out the, ch the charities. One must, we must have a, we must have firm, firm determination to raise above the mind of the forms. So we must transcend above. We will not be controlled by those fame, power, and wealth. Okay? We will not, and the temptations of desire. So it's it's not easy, but we need to learn how to do it. As soon we can 
don't take this stuff. The, the form like fame, power, wealth, and others too serious, too serious, because those will not last forever. Okay, you see the. Uh, we are in charge, the leader, even you are the president today in each country, they only they have a, a lot, most of them have terms. So by the time you step down, it's different. And uh, I remember the Judy, my wife Judy always told me uh, in, when she worked in the companies, uh, everybody, most people go to big boss office every, every day, try to have connection with them. However, once they step down, People do not know them. People don't go to their office anymore. Okay, and that the, the moment they are ready to go, seems nobody know them or anymore. So that's how life goes. So we didn't recognize that. Okay, we need to know that nothing is forever except our true nature. Nothing on the material world, material stuff are not forever. We need to realize that. What the teacher want us to cut off the anger fire of ignorance. Okay, now, ignorance. Could be arose the thoughts, okay? So, so a lot of time we are angers create a lot of karma for all of us. The anger, the temper, the temper, the bad temper create a lot of karma for us. That's the way we have to manage, we have to control that. The habitual nature of that has accumulated. We have accumulated those bad habits for 60,000 years, 60,000 years. So. Why pe some people might have a bad temper, sometimes so have so much emotion because those are accumulated for 60,000 years. It's hard to change. It's hard to change. If we can get rid of, holy teacher always talk about it. If we can get rid of the bad temper, bad habit, what happened? We already halfway done on the cultivation journey. If we can get rid of bad temper, bad habits, we already halfway done on the Tao journey of cultivation. So we need to learn that, okay? Control our emotion, control our bad temper. Try not to have bad habits. Do not let, the other thing is very important here. Do not let the mind run randomly or wildly. Because sometimes we have, we have our minds thinking so many things, so many things, okay? Let our mind run randomly. What happened? It disturbed one spirit, affect our true nature. Okay? Uh, we don't want to do that. The reason, because do not let our mind run randomly. What happened? Because Buddha always talk about in old days, many, many lives ago, we might have done something already there, but the ability was not mature yet. Mature yet. However, at this moment, if we think about something, run our mind randomly. What happened? We connect the affinity with the affinity and karma in previous life at that moment. Then the affinity will be mature. The karma will mature after that. So something might happen like that. Then we will suffer the consequence after that. So we, we don't let our mind randomly. We can avoid that. We can avoid that. Sometimes we didn't know that. I didn't know that before until the Holy Teacher and Buddha talk about that. So don't let our mind run randomly. Don't let our mind run widely. Okay, very important. Control every right moment. Every right moment, we know what we are thinking. We know what we are doing. Okay, control that, manage that. We need to learn that. Okay, the best thing is no thought, no thought. Okay, not. In our lives. That's why we have to practice exercise. Focus on one's spiritual life fully, and one should connect to the 10 directions. And one should be able to truly change their faith. So we need to concentrate on our spiritual lives. So our full straight, always put, concentrate on our full treasure. Okay, don't let our mind run, lose our mind. And then we should connect it. We should touch the 10 direction. 10 direction means from every direction. All the sense Buddha, everywhere. Sentient beings, we can connect to all of them. 
get from everywhere. Once you'll be able to truly change our faith, then our faith, our life will be totally different. Okay, we need control that. Yeah. Disciples, holy teacher and uh, Buddhist talk, disciples, in idle time, you must especially remember to quiet the mind and concentrate on heavenly portal. So we must calm our mind down always, always, especially we are alone. We are in idle time, which means we have we got luxury time to do something. Don't think widely, okay? Then quiet the mind, calm the mind, and concentrate on our first treasures, okay? Without restlessness, let the energy reach and spread through the, your low part of doma, okay? So without stopping, let our energy reach and spread through our whole body, especially low part of our doma, means under the stomach area. So we can do the holy teacher, I remember holy teacher and longevity sense would model to us do the reversal breathing method. Means when we take a big, big breath, then uh, our stomach, the, uh, the abnormal abdominal area will go in, then hold the energy for a while, then let the, the breathing going out. Very slow, very long. We practice that reverse breathing exercise. So that's, we should do that every morning, lunchtime, and, and nighttime. The holy teacher wants us to do try to do 36 each time. I know most of most of us do not do that at all. So yeah, we need to practice that regularly. Holy teacher wants us to do that regularly. Next one we talk about uh, you know this is guardian in general Zheng Dian. Yeah. He's also called the chief examiner of three realms. Three realms means absolute heaven, temporary heaven, and the form of our world today. But the chief examiner of three realms, I think everybody know him. We all should know him. Because every Dharma classes or every regular classes, he always there. He's the person recorded down everything we think, everything we do, very detailed every main classes, he is there to do that. He's, he's, that's his responsibility. Okay, so he's, the other name is Zheng Dian Jiang Jun. He's, okay. So he's in charge the, the, the Tao cultivation the, and classes of, for the Tao members. He's in charge. So every time we have a big classes, he is there to record everything down. So we have to remember, be careful. Besides all other saints and Buddha next to us, he, he is there to record it down, report it to the heaven, what we have done. Even what we think, he record it down. Not just what we have done, what we think, he record it down, okay? So be careful there. Mm -hmm. And now uh, he give us some wisdom word. Let's, let's hear what he said. For perform priorities, temple, temple rules and regulations properly. You will be able to feel with Tao energy. He said, if we can perform, we can do the priorities, follow the temple regulation and rules properly, then we can show the Tao energy. We can show the Tao energy. And adhere completely to precepts and, and it sure count as true Tao cultivation. So if we can follow the rules, the precept completely, okay? General, all the general rules completely, then we should, we are treated as a true Tao cultivation, Tao cultivators in this case. So, so two things we need to follow, okay? 
perform the priority and temper the rules and regulation properly. The other thing is follow the to the presets. Now he tried to report it, told us who he is, and also he said, I am the chief examiner of three rooms. Okay, he's in charge. Okay, yeah. In protection of the Lamu descendants to the Mandan war. So he's, he's, most of the Buddhas came down. They are followed the Lamu's arrivals. But in his case, he's a general. So he's in the protection of the Lamu's arrival. He's in protection, okay? General, Marshal and generals, they are all in the protection of Lamu's arrival to the Mandan war, to this war. I have a right. So they have arrived, he has arrived at the temple and quickly pay obsense to Lamu. So that when Buddha, General Marshal, all of them and others came down to the temple, first thing they said, they pay the obsense to the Lamu. We will do the same thing and we go to the temple. First thing, we need to pay obsense to Lamu immediately. Besides, we talk before we talk to anybody else, before we do anything else. Okay. How are you, brother, brothers and sister? So he called us a brother and sister because one of his lives, he was the son of our holy teachers, okay? One of his life, okay? Because our holy teacher has reincarnated 72 times already, 72 times already. So he went through a lot of, the last life is, uh, of a holy teacher is uh, 18 Patria, Kenan Buddha, okay? Calm your mind and steal your energy or emotion. Listen to me carefully. So Chief Examiner of Sri Ram told us, Shen Dian, General, Garden General, told us, calm our mind, calm, down, calm ourselves down, okay? Every day we should do that. We should have very, very calm to deal things every day, okay? And steal our energy, especially our emotion. Sometimes we have emotion up, we create the problems. With our emotion will not help us. We need to manage that. Manage, manage our emotion properly. Then listen to him carefully, okay? He has some wisdom word to say, to talk to all of us. This is very important too. The heavenly eyes constantly watches over, over us. Married and demerit shows one by one. Okay, be careful there. Heavenly eyes constantly watches over us. They are watching us every moment. Whatever we think, whatever we do. When we do good things, they give us merit. When we do good things, they demerit us. So one by one. Okay, one by one. So we have to be uh, careful every day, every moment. Not because they are recorded down, but because we do good things, uh, they will record it down. We get married to it. But hopefully, with the marriage is without motives. We just know we have to do the right thing. Next statement that may, he may he talk to all of us. Once rising and falling, completely depends on the single thought. Sometimes we didn't think single thought is that critical. But he said, we are the up and down completely depend on one single thought. It's not just for us, our ancestors. It will affect our ancestors. So when we are up or down, our ancestors will follow us too. We are up, they are up. We are down, they are down. So be careful there. So we are all affect seven generation above all of us, seven generation above all of us, nine generation below us in the future. So how critical. So a lot of time uh, people have cultivation because they want to pay back their ancestors, especially their parents. Okay. And that's also benefit our ancestors of all the many generations to come. Were you were yourself to follow 
the four steps of saints, sages of Buddha. When we do that, we should. That's why he's trying to emphasize we should follow the first steps of the all of Buddha's sages and saints. Okay, they are our role models. We should follow them. Heavenly grace is grant and infinity, infinity dignified. Everyone must follow the temple rules and regulation. That's our basic stuff. Everybody should follow. So we are very fortunate to receive the heaven's grace in order to be able to receive down, to cultivate and propagate down. But a lot of time we don't even see it. We don't even know it, okay? So we are very fortunate there. Yeah. I remember the, two years ago, there's Dharma class in Taiwan and the holy teacher talked to one of the lectures and he said, do you, the holy teacher asked her, is the lady, holy teacher asked her, do you feel everything seems you have a problem, but sometimes the problem just go out smoothly. And the holy teacher told her, say, you know, I help you, help you from the, your back a lot. I help you a lot. Do you feel that? Do you feel that? So holy teacher, all the Buddha always behind us. They try to smooth our problems. Sometimes we are facing the challenges. Holy teacher and Buddha is always behind us too. To take to take care of that, but we don't we don't know that we don't know that we feel demand everything I just finished that I everything is depend on me no, holy Chiu and Buddhas are all helping us every day every moment we don't even know, so holy Chiu remind all of us okay. Do not run your thought randomly and have sloppy mind so. Chief examiner, examiner of Sri Ram told us, we need to not run our soul random. The Buddha keep talking about this, okay? That's very, very critical. Do not have a disorganized or destructive mind. Means we need to concentrate. We need to know every moment, every right moment, what we are thinking. We need to have a clear mind, what we are thinking and what we are doing. Wait for the Lamu to meet with and instructed us, okay? Instructs us. Understand and stop. Okay, that's a chief examiner of Sri Ram. Next one, we talk about five religion, main religion leaders. The sages of five worldly religion. Okay, these are five big religions. The first one is a uh, sage Lao Tzu. Uh, probably most people know that Lao Tzu. Okay, the one in the middle. And Sage Confucius. Okay, Confucius, you probably know too. Okay, on the right hand side. No. And then Sakamoni Buddha. Okay, he's a Buddhist leader. Okay. And Jesus Christ. Christ. Okay, yeah, on the right, right hand side. And then Prophet the Muhammad. Okay. He's a leader for history. Yeah. Let's listen to why religion leader will say, okay? The five religions were from the same family originally. It has been responded to the needs of the sentient beings, okay? So five religions are from the same family originally. See, they all come down from the God originally. But sometimes at this moment, people think we are different. Five religions, they think about they are different. No, we come down, we came down from the same, we, same family, okay? But it has been responded to the needs of sentient beings, depending on who they, what we wanted, then you are in different, we are in different religions, respectively. But religion leaders told us that. The purpose of religions is unified, which is to display, to show the peace, supposed to be peace. The purpose of those religions is peace. 
tolerate with one another. You, me, and them. We all supposed to tolerate with each other. That's why we religion leaders talk about. We are the sages of five worldly religions. In the service to the Lamu descendants to Mandan war. So they came down with the Holy Mother. We have entered the temple and pay obsense to Lamu. How are you worthy? Okay. So they came down with Lamu to the temple. They said, oh, are you worthy? We are not worthy. They call us worthy. What this means, noble person, the people have a virtues. Okay, that's why they treat us. They think we are the people with virtues. Okay, come yourself, come your mind, steal your energy. So, see, why religion need to talk the same thing as holy teacher or chief, chief examiner of Sri Ram? Calm your mind, steal energy. Listen to the Simple word, so our simple word. Listen to them, some simple word. Let's listen to what they have to say. This is in uh, mankind must treat one another with childlike sincerity. Okay. Regardless of nationality, skin color, race, and race, they must especially respect and care for one another. So he said the human beings are supposed to treat each other with childlike, very pure sincerity. Regardless, doesn't matter what kind of nationality, skin color, or race, supposed to treat each other with respect. And care for each other. Is that the case today? No. That's what we need to work on. That. Next one. They must not seek only after their own self, selfish gain and rely only on material things. So, what we did you need to talk about that? We cannot just look for only our own selfish benefits. That's what happened today. Each country, each group of people looking for their own selfish gains and overly rely on material things. Concentrate too much on material stuff. That's the problem we have in this world today. Okay, They must not waste natural resources. Okay, So a lot of time we waste all the natural resources. What happened? If we waste all the natural resources, our future generations, descendants, will suffer too. We'll pay for that. Okay? So we cannot destroy the, the natural environment and physical environments in this world. We, we, a lot of times, we destroy that. We hurt this uh, natural environment. So that's the problem we have in this society today. The other things, this is five religion leader talk about a long time ago, but it happened all the time. They seek, they seek all kinds of excuses to start start world, the world, which is tragic. You look at the world today between the Russia and Ukraine. What happened? Well, sometimes we, people think about you drop a bomb, you only see people got hurt or die, but we don't see all the sentient beings. Sometimes animals also got hurt or die. How much karmas are there? Just drop one bomb. How much karma are there? All those people who make a decision have this cost to suffer the consequence in the future. Many, many lives to come. They didn't know that. They didn't know the karma, cause and effect, causalities. They have to pay for it. There's no free lunch. Who I will tell you, God will tell you, there's no free lunch. We make, whoever make the decision, they will pay. They will pay. Okay. 
we respectfully urge those, see, five religion leaders respectfully urge those who are in power to keep the mercy, to keep, to keep the merciful heart and stop this in time. See that? See, many, many years ago, they already see this happening. Okay, so they urge those who are in power to stop, to have a merciful heart, have compassion hearts, okay? Stop killing all human beings, hurt a human being, all the sentient beings. We need to do that. But unfortunately, today, all those leaders who are in power do not think so. That's a problem there. <clears throat> We have the, in this world today. So, however, there's a lot of consequence there, a lot of karma there. Whoever make a decision just will suffer for many, many lives to come. Okay. There's no free lunch. That's what God and Buddha always keep teaching us. Mankind should once again return to the happy life. Once everybody had a peace, everybody treat each other with respect, take care of each other we will have a happy life. And that's why five religion leaders talking about, are talking about. Next one, we will talk about a uh, grand patriarch of Jing Gong. Seven things patriarch. His incarnation of material Buddha. The left hand side is a material Buddha. Everybody probably know him. He's a he's a heavy Buddha. Material, we call him material Buddha. And then the the, head, the picture on the right hand side is a grand patriarch Jing Gong. He's our 18th 18th patriarch. Okay, and he's a reborn of a reincarnation of the material Buddha. Material Buddha also reborn 72 times. So this is the last one, last life. He was our 17th, 17th patriarch. Qigong Buddha also reborn 70 times too, yeah. So a lot of time we all reborn so many, many times. We don't know what our previous lives, lives. but all the Buddhas, Qi, they came down, they know our previous lives and they knew, okay? We didn't know that, but they know, okay? I do not argue, do not argue, being taken advantage by others and going through tightness. I do not argue, do not argue, and the past toward to the toward forward should be broad, should be good. Do not argue here means. Bicker, okay, which is means do not dispute, do not fight with others, okay. Sometimes we might be taken, being taken advantage by others. That happens all the time. But Buddha always tell us if somebody, someone else take advantage of us, takes advantage of us, the God, Buddha will compensate for us, compensate for us. The other thing is. We could do the same thing to them in previous life, not just this lifetime. So they just pay back this lifetime to us. Sometimes we don't know that, okay? But sometimes we might go through a lot of uh, tiredness, means work so hard, tiredness, but in the meantime, uh, we, don't, we don't dispute and argue and bigger, okay? Do not argue the past should be broad and wide. Okay, the pace of our journey should be broad and wide. Next time also, next sentence paragraph also very important. I need to have tolerance. At tolerance, I have to tolerate with others' shortcomings. 
others shall come in. I need to tolerate her virtues should help me be profound. So especially tolerate. You know, we no one is perfect. There is, there is no perfect person. So we need to learn. We need to learn to tolerate with others shortcoming, especially the loved ones. And that's very, very, very important. So holy teacher, who that always always joke and teach us. So they always say, before you, we get married, we need to open our eyes 120%. So we know who we know each other. But after we get married, we need to close our eyes 80%. Uh, holy teacher always joking all of us with that. We need to close 80% of our eyes. So we only see the good things of the other person. Okay? So we can tolerate our, the others should come in. We can tolerate. Okay? We have to learn that. Once we can learn that, life will be different. Okay? We have a if we have virtues, then we will have we will help me to perform means have a very high moral standard. Okay. So we, we need to accumulate our virtues. We treat everybody equally and always use our true nature in charge. Okay. And always know what we are thinking and what we are doing. I have to be constantly next paragraph. I have to be constantly joyful, means happy, okay? Be constantly joyful. Be constantly joyful to do good and accumulate virtues. That's what it, 17 Petra told us. Be constantly happy. And one should receive peace and health in lives. So we need to constantly try to tell us, we need to be content. We need to appreciate what we have every moment, every day, okay? Then we can to be happy to do good things to help people, help sentient beings, and accumulate enough virtues, okay? Then we will have a, we will receive a peace and healthy life. I must confirm to receive a position in heaven, okay? And then, here we talk about, we have a class in Dharma class. We know that we make a vow. We, we believe the Tao, believe the Buddha, okay? Then we receive Tao. And we have to believe first. Then we make vows. We, and then next day we will fulfill our vow. At the end, we will receive the position in the heaven. So this is the, this is the fourth step for us to achieve during the journey our journey of cultivation and propagation. We believe, then we make a vow. We fulfill our vow. We gain the position in the heaven. So, Holy Teacher and Buddha always tell us the vow we are making in this world today is the same vow we make in the heaven before. There's no difference. If we don't make a vow in the heaven, we will not make that vow in the in this world. In this world today. So interesting. I didn't know that. We make all those vows already in the habit, exactly what we make. So we are very fortunate to be able to receive down, make a vow, and to cultivate and propagate down. So hopefully we all receive, we all have enough merits, virtues, and then have a less commas by the time we are ready to go back. Okay. So I will surely confirm to enlightenment by risking the world, saving the people. So we are, we have the right today. I know a lot of people are suffering today. They may not have food to eat, may not have the food to eat, but we look the other side. We are saving the spirits of the sentient being, not just the body. Our physical body only lasts 100, 120 years only. But if we can save the spirits of the person, of sentient being, they will last forever. They, we need to save the spirits. That's why we think, sometimes we think, okay, we got good life. We have a good house. We have a good car. 
we have good family. But from Buddha, from Buddha point of view, we are still in a reincarnation of six paths of reincarnation in the bitter sea. We cannot, we cannot, we couldn't get out from this bitter sea. We are still in reincarnation of first death and reverse. Those called reincarnation process. So Buddha and God tried to call, let us get out from this reincarnation. So we need to, to receive Tao, cultivate and propagate Tao, accumulate in our merits and virtues in order to go back and to get out from this, to escape this uh, reincarnation. So that's what we are working for. That's what we, the Tao is all about, okay? So I'm sure to confirm that in, to enlightenment, so the cultivation will have value. So in order, when we go through this process, we believe, make a vow, fulfill a vow, then receive the position in heavens, then the cultivation journey will have its value, okay? So hopefully we all be there one day. And let's listen to what Jingong Grand Patriot had to say. Say so I'm Grand Jingong Grand Patriot, John Naomi's descendants to the Mandan world. So he also joined it. So the other generals, Marshall, they say they are protecting Naomi's arrival. Okay, but they this they are all joined. Okay? I have entered the temple and pay obsense to Naomi. That's what they will do immediately. The harmony shows now is precious and hard to come back upon. Means this kind of harmony is very nice and harmony, harmony shows is very precious, uh, very special, and hard to come upon again. Our grand disciples, you have good fortunes for three lifetimes to have this wonderful opportunity. So 18 Patriots said that we have a good fortune. He's, he's like our grand, our holy teacher is like our father. Okay. And then 18 Patriot, he's the inclination of material. He's like our grand parents, grand father. Okay. So that's why he said grand disciples. So he said, uh, we have a good fortune. We are very lucky. We are. We are pretty lucky because we have cultivated more than three lifetimes to have these wonderful affinities to receive Tao, to cultivate and propagate Tao. And let me put it this way. A lot of people do not have a chance to receive Tao. They want to receive, but their affinity is not mature enough to receive Tao. They need to cultivate three lifetimes before they can receive Tao. Teacher always, holy teacher always remind all of us, sometimes we feel so bad. The person is almost ready to receive that. However, the last moment, the person changed their mind. And that's why holy teachers always talk about because their affinity, affinities are not mature yet. So in this case, sometimes we could transfer some marriage to them. Hopefully one day, the affinity, affinity are mature to receive Tao in the future. Okay. Time is essential. Time is very important and critical. Lamu is about to meet with everyone. Lamu is coming down to talk to all of us. I should speak no more. I should speak no more. Grant these disciples quiet down a bit. And that's all welcome Lamu's descendants with deep respect. So we need to have a deep respect Welcome Namu's arrival. Ha ha, stop. So that's 18 Patria, the incarnation of Maitreya Buddha. Okay. Next one. Those are the two boy angels. Always come with Namu, come with Buddha, gotta come with Ga. So he's, they are the two, uh, you see the picture on the right hand side? They are the two boy angels. Okay, next to Lao Mo. The Yun Bao, the two boy angels. Their names Yun and Bao. Okay, two of them. 
Let's see, let's hear what I have to say. The two, the, the, the two angels, okay? I am you and you are me. So breathe out deep. Who that lived human, who that lived as humans before achieving enlightenment. So, so let the, these two boy angels talk about, I'm you, you are me. We are all in one. We are all in one. So build that live as a human before achieving enlightenment. Okay? Sometimes we, we need to know that. Okay? Human, only human being can cultivate, become Buddha or sense. Only human being. No other choice. Okay? No other choice. In fact, humans were all originally Buddha. We are all Buddha before. We are all Buddha reborn. I know the, if you ask the Nepali people, we have a lot of Nepali people in New York, Ohio, Iowa, even Texas too. The one thing, if you ask them, they will tell you, they will tell all of us, they are all, they knew they are Buddha reborn. They all knew they are Buddha reborn, okay? Uh, Gautama Buddha was, was born in, the, in Nepal. Okay, that's why they know Gautama Buddha is a second morning Buddha. He, was born, he is born in Nepal. So they knew that. They knew they are Buddha reborn. Some, a lot of time we are told we are Buddha reborn. Okay, we didn't know that in, in, in the beginning. But every one of us should remember us. We are all Buddha reborn. Don't forget, okay, please. Don't forget, we are all Buddha reborn. The Buddha nature is so wonderful and joyful. It's so nature and harmonious, harmonious. So Buddha nature, our Buddha nature is the same Buddha nature of Buddha and sense. There's no different. Our Buddha nature is the same Buddha nature of Qigong Buddha nature, the same. However, we have, why we are different today? Because I said it before, we have a bad temper, bad habits. We have attachment, we have desires, we have three poisons, greed, anger, ignorance, stubbornness, and other things which our true nature do not have originally. So we need to get rid of all those stuff to cultivate is to get rid of our bad temper, bad habit, get rid of all attachment and desire and three poisons. So that's cultivation, we call cultivation. So the true natures is so wonderful and joyful, okay? True nature know the past, know our past, know our present, even know our futures, okay? But we didn't know either, okay? All the Buddha knows that. So we need to have the same true, we have the same true nature. We need to let our true nature in charge. We can call, sometimes call, we call true nature, we call Buddha nature, or we call true self. They are the same thing, okay? They are called different terms. We call different terms. But Buddha nature is so wonderful and joyful, okay? So we need to let our true nature, Buddha nature reveal in charge in our daily life. Don't let our six organs in charge. Okay, we said it before, T6 desires in charge, okay? It's so nature and harmonious. So our true nature is very, very innocent, very nature, very pure, very nature, okay? We are two boys, angel, inbound. Yeah, so that's, their name is Yun and Bao, two boys, angels. We join Naomu's descendants to the mundane world. Upon arrival, we pay obeisance to Naomu, seeing, seeing our brothers and sisters. See, they are calling our brothers and sisters. All, the, all gathered in the same place, all gathered in the temple. We are so happy. Time is limited. Naomu has already descended. We should stop now. So he, he stopped. 
You see that they're angels, so you can see it. the others, the others is different, okay? The other Buddha talk about haha <laughs> stuff, but the two angels talk about he he stuff. So like children, very pure, very innocent, okay? So we are very fortunate to have these uh, two angels to come down to talk to all of us. Last time I'm gonna talk about, a couple of minutes talk about the, the mighty numerous supreme grace God, grace for God. That's our Lao Mu, we call Lao Mu, it's different name there, okay? Sometimes we call Lao Mu, we call Ka, we call Huang Mu, we call spiritual mother, we call holy mother. It's the same thing, okay? Same name, okay? Same name. So this is the uh, mighty means very po great power, okay? Numerous means bright and clean, clean, okay, very bright, bright and shiny. Graceful, supreme God, okay? So we call God, you can call God or you can call different names. But in the temple, we always call Ming Ming Sang Di, Lao Mu, okay, Lao Mu. You can see here, Lao Mu, okay. But there's no, the Wu Sen, sometimes in Chinese we call the Wu Sen Lao Mu, means no birth, no death, okay. Lao Mu, that's what So our spirit is from our Holy Mother, or we are the children of Holy Mother from the God. So there's only one God, doesn't matter which religion, there's only one God there, okay? Yeah. So we're gonna stop here today. I know the next time we're gonna talk about all the scriptures from Holy Mothers and then all the details on the scriptures. Thank you everybody. So have a nice weekend. Thank you. I would like to thank you for mercy of God and also great virtue of holy teachers, masters, and kindness of transmitters, lectures, and all of you. If I say something improperly, I ask the forgiveness from them, from you. Hmm? Thank you.